what's up what's up what's up what's up in this video i'm going to go through all the software i use on a day-to-day -day basis from pre-production production post-production post and my day-to-day -day life in general in pre-production of any stage of planning be it i'm in the planning stages i'm in the script stage whatever it is so first off as you see here notion jotting down my ideas immediately and then i can break down the script the ideas thumbnails all this kind of stuff in that Another one I love is Milanote. Milanote I've only started working with recently. This is for a fashion shoot I did a while back. It's class. It's just getting the ideas out. So I write the ideas down in Notion. Milanote makes it start to flesh out and start come to life. Mood boards, details, ideas. And then once all this stuff is all put together, I can put a brief together from that and send it to the client. It's such a powerful tool for whatever industry you're in. It really is. So definitely check out my lot. Where I, where I get my ideas and these polls and these videos is I usually go to I use Shot Deck to get ideas. Uh, I've used Shot Deck actually more for my YouTube channel than I have for client work, but I use Frameset, which is like if I type in fashion here, fashion shoot. It just it helps you. It gives you an idea of what you're thinking about. It gives you an idea of. Like you have, if you have, an, if you have a thought in your head, you're like, right, I want black and white. I want two lights, maybe one. I want a studio setting. Let's say we see this one, the Studio Pro from L'Oreal. I like that one. I'll click it. Right here is here's what you can do. Okay, there's a white back up there. What would I need light wise? You can see all the details here on the left of what it is. You can actually view the full ad on Vimeo if that's something you're into. Or if you want to see how it actually edit together and work that way. And what I love about Frameset is it's both motion and video. It's going to give you moving images. So like you can click on it. It's like a GIF. You'll see the kind of moving of the pool or this kind of stuff. The pan ups, the whip pans, all kind of stuff. The different fashion shoots, her moving, the model moving. So yeah. Just it really kind of fleshes out the idea. Like for me, Notion is the bones and the heart of the idea. And then the likes of Milanote fleshes out. It's the muscles, it's the blood, it's the vein. It fleshes out the idea fully. Once we have an idea of what we want to do and there's a script involved, I use Final Draft. It's what I learned back in college years ago. Um, it's how I write all my scripts. It's industry standard, I think, for a lot of professional uh, script writers. Fully broke down there. So you can get your interior house day, breakdown of the scene, the actions, the dialogue, all that kind of stuff. So Final, uh, Final Draft is my go-to script writing software. Any breakdown cost-wise, I always go to Google Sheets, no matter what it is. Also use for social media calendars uh, with my team um, for client work and that kind of stuff. But mainly, if I am breaking anything down financially, I always use Google Sheets so I can just get my head around it. Like I am, I'm not bad at numbers, but I need to see them in front of me. I need to kind of work it out in front of me and know what's left, know what I'm missing, know what's there, know what's not there. So, like any project, I'll work on a budget. I'll take away what cost things, I'll take away my cost, hourly, rentals, all kind of stuff, and I just can see it in front of me, what's left, what's profit, what's not. So I break things down by that, which is super handy. For any pre-production calls or meetings, a lot of the time, I, I like to do Zoom. I think, I think the world likes to do Zoom. I like a phone call. I like, if an inquiry comes in, I like to talk to the customer, the client about the project, person to person. I don't like to email tones can be lost I, I just much prefer to get someone talking to me about anything I think it's easier to sell a product if you're speaking to them they can understand you better and they just understand your vibe uh, but zoom and is kind of go-to for most production meetings if we're all remote my notes app notes is a beast for me like still any ideas I have like I wrote a whole script in notes recently for a use recent YouTube for my last YouTube video for the for the missing the moments I think it was written in notes it's just I was on the plane I just jotted down I think notes is so handy I use it for a lot of things and a lot of times a seed of an idea might go into notes and then that will be brought into notion and then fleshed out in middle notes that's how I work it a lot of the time YouTube YouTube is a big learner for me I learned I'm self-taught, like I went to film school, but like I'm self-taught in a lot of stuff, like a lot of marketing stuff, a lot of camera stuff, a lot of editing, post, all kind of stuff, just softwares. I'm a lot, I'm self-taught and I come from the University of YouTube, like a lot of people, it's so handy. So like my, my go-to is YouTube. I'm on YouTube two hours a day, three hours, like I'll go home and watch YouTube instead of watching TV. All my contact with clients is done through Gmail or WhatsApp, which I'm not massively a fan of WhatsApp with clients, I'm, uh, to and from it all depends on the project and the person uh, set up boundaries for yourself obviously for your mental health you have to set up boundaries for work um, but 
Yeah, WhatsApp now and then. It's a very rare scenario that I have a WhatsApp with a client. It's done through Gmail. Oh, I'm a massive fan of iMessage, like the Messenger app, the old school message app. I have my WhatsApp notifications turned off. So I look when I want to look, I'm not prompted to look. So I think it's just because I have a family and I have work and I have all this stuff. I don't want to be taking too much time away and look at WhatsApp and stuff. Because a lot of that's just buddies chatting, group stuff, you know yourself, that you'd have the 40, unread messages of someone who fell over and it's hilarious and everyone's laughing and stuff. So I look at that on my time, so I use the messaging app. But like somebody's like, why are you texting me and not WhatsApp me? I'm like, it's the way I am. Discord, again, I ha I'm in a few different servers and I'm in a few different chat rooms and stuff in Discord. In the studio here, we, we run everything on Discord. All the chats, so coffee chats, gear chats, funny videos. Like we ask each other to critique each other's work. It's all done through Discord. I'm doing a rebrand for my business at the moment and I'm talking to my designer Lucy through Discord. Um, yeah, I love Discord, it's class. Spotify, Spotify for everything. Like I've Spotify on the whole time, uh, love it. So if I'm if I'm jotting down ideas in mill note or if I'm building on a plan or if I'm building on something in Notion, I'm always listening to music. I'm always kind of getting inspiration from music. I always have. Anytime I'm building an idea, I'm listening to music just to get a vibe, just to get a, a feel for it. And even in the notes for my scripts, I'll put in what music I was listening to so I can get back in that vibe if I go back to read it again. And there's times where I've actually put that music into videos or into films that I've made because that's what I was listening to, that's what gave me the vibe when I was writing it. My website is Wix. It's not bad, it's fine. I know, I, I know it needs to be better. I'm going to get WordPress soon, but Wix is just, it's fine for templates and stuff. It's grand, it's easy to do, it's easy to set up. And if you are a new business and you just need a website, I would recommend Wix, but I just, I'm starting to, I'm going to the next stage of the business, which is great. And I need to get something more solid and with ad wise, it's, Wix isn't great. SEO wise, Wix isn't great. I'm starting to put more money into ads. I'm kind of promoting business more and just Wix isn't amazing for that. That's why I'm going to move to WordPress. Production wise, there's not many apps because I'm on the camera, I'm moving around, I'm shooting. So if it's a photo shoot, I have Capture One open. Is a must have. I have it linked up, I have, oh, I have Capture One open on my laptop and I have it tethered to my, to my uh, Sony a7 III taking photographs so the client can see the work as it's being done. So the client can see the images as they're being taken in live. Uh, it's just so handy. It's super, super handy. Mellonote is open during the productions. I'm seeing the storyboards. I'm seeing the script ideas. Uh, final drafts obviously open if, we're a if, if there's a script involved. And then again, Spotify music blaring the whole time. If it's a photo shoot, there's definitely Spotify on. I need to get a vibe going. My sets are always fun, always having the crack. Obviously it's a film set or if there's talking heads or speaking, there's no music blaring. But if it is a photo shoot or there's no audio in the shot, the Spotify app. I have playlists for all different moods and different sets because it's super important. Post-production, I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos. I recently purchased DaVinci. Um, it's sitting on my computer for the last few weeks. I have not made the jump yet. I don't know what I use to make the jump. Uh, Keith, aka Keithkiss, I was talking to him, um, great guy based in the UK, and he edits on Final Cut and colors in DaVinci. Now I think that's the way I'm gonna go with it. I don't think I'm gonna go fully over to DaVinci. Another another plugin or um, software I use is Motion VFX, which is all plugins for Final Cut. I've spent a chunk of change with them and I was talking to them yesterday to their team and they don't have, I can't use them across two platforms. They have them for DaVinci and they have them for Final Cut, but they're supposedly, they're coded differently. So I'd have to go and rebuy all the stuff I've bought and the plugins I've bought for Final Cut for DaVinci, which is, it's almost not worth it to me. So once my video is edited and colored and all that and exported, be it for me, I'm gonna market it. So I have Instagram, TikTok is, are my two main socials I use. Uh, I never use Twitter, never, ever. I never, ever use Twitter. I use Facebook now and then mainly to check memories of stuff I've posted. It's kind of my go-to, or I use the kind of marketplace if I'm selling stuff. But it's, it, it is, it's Instagram first, then TikTok. TikTok to go and waste time and be a death scroll and know 
I'm not getting that half an hour back. I need to just shut my mind off and watch trash on TikTok. If and when I create a video, be it for YouTube, and I need it uh, broken down and I need it transcribed, I use Vizard. So what this does is, it is a great clip as well if you if you're if you're if you need it for social media, where you're editing. It takes the clip you put in, it will put captions down for you, it will cut up clips, it will use AI to cut up clips for you. What I like about it is here, they put the transcription here. So what I would do this is for my YouTube videos is I put my fully edited video into this, I'll get the transcript. And what I'll do is then is I'll go to ChatGPT just to see what the crack is with this, just gonna see if it can give me any advice on it. Uh, there is a, I'm on the plus side on the paid ChatGPT. So what I'll do is I'll start a chat with this YouTube SEO wizard. I will then drop my transcript in and then I will say, can you suggest 10 titles for me? Can you suggest the bones of 10 to 15 keywords that would rank highly on YouTube search engines if used in this description. All that kind of, you just get feedback on that. Now, I, I might not use them, I might not do anything like that, but it's just good to get ideas for that kind of stuff uh, based on the transcript of your video, based on the things you've said in the video. Because sometimes, once you've edited, once it's exported, you're like, oh, just post it. And you forget about it and it's gone, and then you're like, oh, I should have done more with that. So this gives it a fighting chance in the, um, in the search engine of YouTube because the keywords are being ticked and all that kind of stuff so it is it, it helps a lot. We collect, we transfer, mainly we transfer these, we collect is very clunky if I'm sharing files with uh, my team or with a client it goes through we transfer I have the professional one so it's up to 200 gigs. If, if you're in the video game or content creation game you know we transfer is so so handy. Again Spotify, Apple Podcasts so I'm listening to Spotify or Apple Podcasts when I am editing or I'm getting stuff together or I'm batching all this together to get off and we transfer it's usually Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts is where I listen to all my podcasts. Link Twin to create a a deep link so pure example now this video I've edited I've shared it and copy the link for the video and then you share it on social and you click it and it just brings you to another web page and YouTube and you're not signed into YouTube and stuff so I, I use link twin l-i-n-k-t-w dot i-n and what that does is I copy and paste the YouTube link in and that creates a deep link so what that does is once you post that and someone clicks on it it opens the YouTube app on their phone where they're logged in where all the subscribers are and they can click subscribe there and then so it's so much less hassle for them to just subscribe and I've seen a nice increase in, in subscribers because of it. And then if I am promoting something like if you go to my Instagram, I am Jay Woodard, you'll see me talking to camera like this, come below the word budget if you want a budget breakdown. And someone will come to our budget and I use many chats to automatically send that to them. Once they, I said, comment below any emoji and I'll send it straight to your DMs. Once they commented on the, on the post below on Instagram, they get this kind of message sent to them. So that's what I use for most of my post production and my marketing. In my day-to-day -day life of social media and text messages, YouTube, as I said earlier, love it. Prime, Amazon Prime, The Boys, all that kind of stuff. Great TV shows on there. I have Disney Plus for the kids and there's obviously there's great shows on there for me as well. Paramount Plus, Netflix, uh, TikTok, as I said, I do Death Scroll on TikTok. Uh, messages from my personal messages to my friends, family, all that kind of stuff. WhatsApp for the groups and all that kind of stuff, the lads. IMDB, I will literally watch a movie with IMDB open, searching actors, this kind of stuff. I just love it. I really, really love looking at who they are, what's he from, or who's the director, or he's a great director, producer, who did that, cinematographer. I'm always on IMDB. Like, it's my most searched app, I'd say. And last but not least is Letterboxd. I use that for a lot of stuff as well, where I'm creating watch lists. If someone, a friend of mine says, oh, have you seen that movie? I'm like, no, I haven't. I add it to my watch list on Letterboxd. So, when I'm sitting at home with the wife or I'm by myself and I want to watch a movie, I'm like, oh, what will I watch? I go to my letterbox. I have my watch list here, everything I need to watch that I haven't seen or I've seen years ago and want to watch again. So uh, Letterboxd, highly recommended. And they have a great social media presence as well. So check out their socials because right? they like ask celebrities their four favorite films. And if you're a movie, if, if you like movies and stuff, you'll be massively into it. I hope this helped in any way. I hope you saw kind of a look inside of my life and the apps I use and the softwares I use to kind of build my business and use my business and my everyday life. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below in the comments or you can follow me on social and DM me if, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about. Uh, I have links below to stuff that I'm affiliated with or my products of the 200 content ideas. Make sure to check that out. Um, yeah, other than that, deuces.